We can also um, add in some, so let's say that we want to add in a stem. Here you can see that this is just a basic um, black box. And once again, I can just double click this, change it over to green. So we've got the stem of our pumpkin. If we wanted to make this look a little bit better, we'll use the white arrow tool to select. Now, once again, the, a lot of times uh, Illustrator is trying to help you. So if I click anywhere in here, a lot of times what will happen is instead of me manipulating the different anchor points or dots, it will think that I want to move the entire shape. So if you want to manipulate this, there's a couple of ways of doing this. The one that I use the most is if I click off and then go over, you can see as I move over, it'll eventually tell me anchor or path. The path is the line, the anchor is the dot. And so I can click that and I know that I'm going to get that so I can kind of bring this in to, uh, to change that. And if I click on the path and bring it down, you can see I can kind of manipulate the two dots that are connected to that path. And then if we go in the middle here, you can see we can get that item there. So let's add some leaves. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to make a square and then once again using my white arrow tool. If I click if I click on this, it's going to uh, bring all of them in as curves. But if I click off and then just click on this anchor point, you can see that just that one is selected so I can kind of bring this in. Same thing over here. I'm going to click on this so I've just got that anchor point selected. Bring that in and now I've got a pretty good looking leaf. I can ro rotate, oops, I can rotate this it will let me, there we go, shrink it down if I need to, and then um, we can use that old option tool to create our second item. 